On the 26th of September 2023, William Nickel Drive in Santon was officially renamed to Winnie Mandela Drive. The official renaming was done on what would have been Winnie Mandela's 87th birthday. Okay, before we get into like the real nitty gritty of this, let's get some background and some context. So Winnie Mandela died in 2018 and after her death, there were people within government structures, particularly in the EFF and the ANC, that wanted to find a way to honor her legacy. There is a road in Santon called William Nickel Drive. And William Nickel Drive is named after a man called William Nickel. Now, William Nickel, or Reverend Dr. William Nickel, was a Dutch reformed minister and was the administrator of what was called the Transvaal province in South Africa. He held office in the Transvaal between 1948 and 1958. He was a very strong advocate advocate for and proponent of Afrikaners and the Afrikaans language. He also was an author. He wrote a book called Just Racial Apartheid in 1947, which aimed to provide a religious justification for apartheid. And in this book, he advocates for complete territorial segregation. Before he was administrator of the Transvaal, William Nickel was also the second chairman of an organization called the Afrikaner Bruderbond. And this was a secret society in South Africa that was dedicated to the advancement of the Afrikaner people and was also a very strong uh, proponent and advocate for the system of apartheid. Apartheid Prime Minister Hendrik Verwoerd was also a member of this Bruderbond and he described its mission in 1942 as being being, the AB must gain control of everything it can lay at hands on in every walk of life in SA. Members must help each other to gain promotion in the civil service or any other field of activity in which they work with a view to working themselves into important administrative positions. Prominent members of this organization had very close ties to the Nazis and frequently prayed for German victory in World War II. So knowing the not so great history associated with William Nickel and then also wanting to honor Winnie Mandela, the decision was made in 2021 or it was proposed in 2021 that William Nickel Drive be renamed Winnie Mandela Drive. When this was announced, immediately there was pushback from it. Uh, the Democratic Alliance was opposed to this, calling it a pointless name change and a waste of taxpayer money. And this is a sentiment that has been echoed by many as the name change has been pushed through and actually became official on Tuesday the 26th. But how much money does it actually cost to rename a road, to rename a street? The city of Johannesburg is claiming that it has cost them so far 250,000 Rand. I saw a figure of about a thousand Rand per street sign that needs to be erected with other costs being the actual advertising of this renaming as well as the public participation process that had to happen before the rename could be approved. Now to your average person, to me, to you, 250,000 Rand is a lot of money. Like that, that is, it's a significant amount of money for your everyday average person. However, in the context of a government, in the context of a city budget, it's not actually that much. And like, I get it, Joburg has a lot of problems and maybe sure some people do want to see that money being put to a different use, a use that they believe is better served or more productive. But at the end of the day, in the context of a government, in the context of a city budget, again, 250,000 Rand seems like a insignificant, a small amount of money to be quibbling over. And of course, there could be still further costs that are incurred in the coming weeks and months. This process is definitely not like over. It was not like one and done and now it's completely finished. I mean, I drove on that road a few hours actually after the like official renaming took place and there were still signs that were covered up in plastic and clearly like things have not been fully finished yet. There's still um, the William Nickel signs with the big X through them and the Winnie Mandela signs waiting to be unveiled. So this process will take some time and the city has said that there will be a transition period in which it goes from being William Nickel Drive to being Winnie Mandela Drive. But Honestly, to me, the cost, even if it ends up being slightly more than 250,000 Rand, it is worth it to no longer have a road, a very prominent, a very significant road in this country that is named after someone like William Nichols. Not everyone feels that way though. Um, and I want to share a tweet that I saw about the whole renaming situation from Libertarian ZA, who says, the only reason they're renaming this prominent Johannesburg road after a convicted child kidnapper and fraudster is that the racists know how much it offends white people and furthers a racist agenda of ethnic cleansing. William Nickel is not a controversial person. He was a priest and he advocated for education in one's native language. Let's simply ignore this disgusting name change and continue to refer to this road as William Nickel in perpetuity. So there's a lot to kind of break down there. Let's first address the um, convicted child kidnapper and fraudster part of the situation. So 
Winnie Mandela was a freedom fighter during apartheid and like many freedom fighters during apartheid, her hands are not completely clean. In 1998, four boys were kidnapped by Winnie Mandela's bodyguards and one of them was murdered. The four boys who were between the ages of 14 and 15 were wrongfully accused of being police informants. In 1991, Winnie Mandela was convicted as having given the order for these kidnappings. Mandela's role in the kidnappings and murder was investigated and probed as part of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, with Mandela saying that the accusations of human rights abuses that she was facing were ridiculous, but with the commission finding her negligent in that she failed to act responsibly in taking the necessary action required to avert his death. Now, this undoubtedly has an impact on the way that people view the legacy of Winnie Mandela. And to many, despite being of vital importance in the fight against apartheid and a hugely important anti-apartheid activist, she is a controversial figure. Which brings us to the next part of that tweet. William Nickel is not a controversial person, says the tweet. Which could not be further from the truth. Like, as we saw, he was leader of an organization that heavily fraternized with the Nazis. And yes, William Nickel did advocate for mother tongue education. He translated the Bible into Isisulu. But that does not mean that he wasn't a huge racist at the same time. He still believed in segregation. He wrote a book justifying racial apartheid. So yes, some people may take issue with a road being named after Winnie Mandela, but to claim that Winnie Mandela is so controversial that a road should not be named after her, but that William Nickel is not controversial at all and should have a name, road named after him is a little bit out of touch in my opinion. Actually, not just a little bit, like quite out of touch. Anyway, someone responded to that tweet with a picture of a street sign of Hendrik Furfut Road. Thankfully, that road is no longer named Hendrik Furfut and it has been changed since then. And in response, the original author of the tweet, Libertarian ZA, replied with, that was 30 years ago. As if it won't someday be 30 years from now and people will be completely used to the road being called Winnie Mandela. I just thought that that was such a pointless, like, argument to make because it's not as if it was 30 years in the future when Hendrik Furwut was changed and no longer called Hendrik Furwut. Like, you know, one more thing to talk about with the renaming of uh, William Nickel Drive is that in some of the articles that I was reading, it referred to the popular four kilometer stretch of road in Santon. And like, I have lived in four ways Santon area for like my whole life. I drive William Nickel or now Winnie Mandela Drive on a daily basis. And I am very sure that it's more than just a four kilometer stretch. So I, I was curious, I went to look on Google Maps and I was looking up, okay, actually, where is William Nickel now, Winnie Mandela Drive, like where does it go from and where does it go to? So conservative estimates of what actually like is labeled currently as William Nickel Drive on Google Maps is kind of from where Epsom Downs shopping center is, so where the highway actually crosses William Nickel up until the Hyde Park corner and that is kind of where it's labeled as William Nickel Drive. So even when using those as like kind of your landmarks that is still a 10 kilometer straight of road so more than double what the news article is claiming. And then if you live in Sands in four ways the surrounds we refer to kind of even past that as William Nickel. So even like the other side of the highway, we still call that William Nickel all the way down to like basically Stain City. Like I would call that William Nickel or now Winnie Mandela Drive. When you look at it on Google Maps, it is just labeled like beyond the highway, the point where it crosses the highway. It isn't really actually called William Nickel on the maps. It's labeled as just the R511. But in my mind, that has always been also, like the same Also, when you look at road. other map services like Apple Maps, for example, it is still called William Nickel Drive all the way past Danefern and all the way up until Stain City. And when you go from basically Stain City all the way to Hyde Park, what like most people I think would have, like have called William Nickel and now would call Winnie Mandela Drive, that is an 18 kilometer stretch of road. So I don't know where these news articles, because I saw it in two different news articles. I don't know where these news articles are getting this. It's a popular four kilometer stretch of road because in my mind, it's definitely always been more than four kilometers. Let me know if you disagree, if you think I'm wrong, but like in my mind, William Nickel and now Winnie Mandela Drive goes from Stain City all the way to Hyde Park. Like if you're driving along that road, like it's all the same road. Anyway, that last part was a little bit off topic, but 
that's that's the name change so let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this name change will you still be calling it william nickel drive um or are you fully embracing the change to willie mandela drive and do you think it was a waste of money like the da or do you think it was money money well spent thanks for watching this video um let me know if you like this style of video i'm still trying it out getting used to it seeing how it works so give me a like if you did like it and comment down below if you want to see more of this in the future